shit. <laughs> oh, I thought she's coming to attack me. This little one. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Thank you so much, Abe. What's cooking? How do you love it? It's awesome. And how, what about this? Are we sleeping here tonight? No, I think the, the smell, smell is uh, out. Oh my oh, god. Works. It's unbearable. <laughs> Tell me about it. Uh, Hi guys, my name is Peace and I'm traveling around the world. So let's peace out and go. Good morning guys, it's Friday today and we have just arrived to Western Namibia and we are very close to the Cape Cross Seal Reserve, which is uh, right at the end of this road. What we are about to see there, hopefully soon, are thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands maybe, of seals in nature. We are now uh, entering the office here to report and get a permit uh, to visit the uh, seal reserve. Because as you know, uh, there are poachers and people who kill seals for uh, various reasons, either for food, either for selling their skin and other stuff. So that's why since then the Namibian government has uh, reserved this place and uh, they're about to continue. gentlemen we have just arrived to one of the biggest colonies of seals in the world well to be precise the Cape Fur seals one of its biggest colonies in the world as I said well we are at Cape Cross uh, let me show you the seals already look at this one coming right here and uh, I'll be elaborating in a minute All right, they're all greeting us. And uh, let me tell you something. We are here at Cape Cross Seal Reserve. As I said earlier, this place, this entire area, this coast is reserved uh, by the Namibian government for the reason because uh, many seals were killed for their skin uh, or for uh, their meat. And for some other reasons, even for the fishermen used to kill them because they wanted to protect the fish in the sea, in the ocean. Well, one more point that I would like to point out is that this uh, seal reserve is right off the coast, which is called the Skeleton Coast in Western Namibia. Uh, the reason why it's called the Skeleton Coast is because many, many sailors uh, have lost their lives here and there are wreckages of old ships who uh, were wrecked in the ocean all over this area and even those who survived somehow and came up to the uh, Namib desert unfortunately lost their lives as a result of the harsh climate here and the desert which is uh, as you know very hard to make a living uh, let me tell you one more thing while I'm showing you those uh, seals that uh, the smell here is uh, very very not pleasant but uh, nonetheless it's what an experience I've never experienced in my life okay let me go down here oh look at this little seal how cute is he Whoa! what a cutie she's running away looks like the seals love to sleep and the babies are quite awake and uh, lively as always and look how many babies we got here today wow all righty let's look down at the coast wow look how many seals we see here oh my what a view As you can hear them. And here are some lazy ones. Oh, the babies are so cute. 
Let me just say again, guys, that the smell here, uh, as you stand right here, is not easy at all. <laughs> but if you want to be at the elements of nature and enjoy seeing those beautiful, magnificent animals, you, of course, have to be able to... Uh... She's calling her baby, you see? And here's one seal who got lost and is looking for her mother. Hello! As you can see, you can also see a lot of pieces of their fur shattered all over. Here also you can see some parts of it. A lot of fur wherever you cross. Well, you see that black seal right there? That's uh, probably a grown-up baby which uh, its colors are still black and uh, it's about to become an adult. I guess when they become an adult, they become brown colored. <coughs> yes, I like that. <coughs> oh yeah, you are definitely right. You are definitely right. By the way, this structure here was uh, made for the humans who come here and want to view uh, the seals from the ocean, from right there. And uh, the seals have invaded it. And <laughs> look how it looks today. You can see still there are chairs and tables right there, so people could have uh, sat in here and uh, maybe eat and drink something. But uh, as you can imagine, probably for years now, uh, the seals said, no way, this is not a place for human. This is our home. And they were exactly correct and very right to say that because this is their home. To me, it's an experience like no other. I'm an animal lover and nature lover. And this is the very, very first time that I've been that close in their natural habitat. Look how many cute babies they have right here. There's the mother laying on top of the stone and I'm right in front of her. Uh, I don't want to disturb her. You can see the babies running for shelter. And the mother is right after them. Maybe that's the father. Who knows? Maybe that was just a babysitter. Oh, they all start to run. <laughs> what an amazing experience this is. Wow. By the way, you hear them? They also say that. Leave a like and subscribe. He agrees, you see? <laughs>
although the smell is exactly not as in my home. I don't know if you see the truck that I'm sitting on, but this is right very, very close to the colony of the seals. And what an amazing, precious experience. Look how many babies you see there. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Thank God it's not too hot today and the sun is not boiling on my head as usual here in Namibia. So it really feels extraordinary to uh, do this adventure as I've never done before. So I hope I uh, bring out my excitement to you as I really feel right now. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> oh, I thought she's coming to attack me. This little one. Oh, that was good. Thank you, Abe. What an amazing experience, isn't it? Mm. Woo! Enjoy it. Oh, I love it. Ooh. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, well, why are you taking it down Ooh. all the time? Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Thank you so much, Abe. You're the man. What's cooking? How do you love it? Awesome. And how, what stay, about the sleeping here tonight? No, I think the, the smell, smell is uh, Oh my god. It's unbearable. <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh, but it's really gorgeous. A young little cub. Look at this, how cute she is. I think she didn't yet open her eyes. So she's so small and tiny. Oh, she's coming to the camera. How beautiful is she? How beautiful is she? Yes, hello. Wow, look how many cups. One, two, three, four, five. And here are two more. Two more. So all together, seven. Don't even know if it's hers, if it's theirs. This looks like the father and the mother. But I'm not sure if they are all hers or not. You have like a huge <laughs> kindergarten here with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of little babies what a beautiful scene you see the fur the brown fur on her face this is why they are called cape fur seals Hello guys, just about 50 kilometers away from the Cape Cross Seals Reserve, where we were just now, I found on the Skeleton Coast a wrecked ship right there. I don't know if you can see it because it's quite uh, foggy today, but as I'm getting closer to it, maybe you might see it. This is a living proof, or should I say a dead proof, to what I have told you before in regards to the uh, Skeleton Coast. This is why it's called the Skeleton Coast. This is one of the many wrecked ships that uh, people have lost their lives uh, off the coast, the Skeleton Coast of the uh, Namib Desert in Namibia. Some locals are coming to fish here, as you see. It's the middle of the desert, empty, empty landscapes, as you can see. This was the most fantastic adventure I had in a long, long, long time. It was truly a majestic experience.
if you have made it to this part of the video, I'm pretty sure you have enjoyed it, didn't you? So let me recommend that you watch this one next. But before you do that, I'll really appreciate if you leave a big like and also subscribe if you want to enjoy more videos just like this. Peace.